Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign E4. This is Ragusa with a little help, and we are definitely expandering now. Uh, so we need a diplomat to come back from somewhere. I wanted to get another claim on. I want to get a claim on Milan. Come back from Venice real quick. I just want to see if Austria is willing to defend Hungary. Only twelve reasons. Austria is also still only willing to vend Florence by 12 reasons. Okay, I'm going to call my shot. I predict within the next 12 months, either Poland or Venice will attack Hungary. So by the year 1500, I expect to see that war deck. I'm calling it right now. Okay, go. Hungary and Venice are auto rivals. He can't get there. Hungary and Venice are auto rivals. Um, Ottomans have rivaled. They have not rivaled Hungary. They have rivaled Poland, so they're not going that way. Yes, they are. They've got access. They got access to Poland. So that 32 stack for the Ottomans is either going here, or it's going through Poland to Austria and end up in Vienna. We could. No, I can't chase it. I can't follow it. How have you managed Ottomans not killing me? Ragusa starts the game off with a guarantee from the Ottomans, and as long as you always make sure that you're never in a hostile war, you're on the wrong side of the alliance with the Ottomans, they are unable to revoke the guarantee. So... If they decided that they wanted to conquer Zeta, I would have to make sure that that's not a subject, because technically they can attack your subjects. Bavaria gives monies. Looks like Austria's gotten out of that other war. They've ex Austria has accepted a contract from Poland. 22,000 troops for eight and a half ducats a month. That's a max condottieri strength. Like, max condottieri stack. Most likely. That's That's gotta be most of Poland's army. I bet Poland only has 30. No, they have 46k troops. Damn. Poland's strong. Unable, the AI can't revoke? Correct. AI is unable to revoke guarantees that are in place at the start of the game. I guess I should be very clear about that. It's very common for the AI to guarantee a small little derp that they want to kill themselves later on. They're allowed to revoke those guarantees. But any guarantees that are in place at the very start of the game in 1444, the AI cannot revoke under any circumstance. The only way they break is if you if the target is at war with the the leader, uh, the the person doing the guarantee. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I mean, because because if they didn't have it set up that way, how often do you think that the very first course of action that the Ottomans would take is to revoke their guarantee of Ragusa, or Mamluks revoke Cyprus, and then they they just like Ragusa just dies. Like every campaign, the Ottomans would just kill Ragusa. I mean, why wouldn't they? You know? Or France, yeah, France revoking their guarantee of Scotland. Not that it's really mattered much. England's being smart. They keep on attacking the uh, Irish miners that Scotland allies, and they've they've used that to partition Scotland despite the French guarantee. Smart next level player. Alright, I need I think I can get let's see 20, 25, 30. Okay, I can get one claim on Venice right now. Let's claim Verona. That we we can fabricate on Brescia. I don't know why I want. I just want to attack Milan because they're like weak. Oh, they're allied to France. Never mind. When did they ally France? Everyone's allied to France, man. Damn. Yeah, France is trying to. Um, sorry, Florence is trying to form Italy. It seems. We have three claims on Florence. We can get one more claim here. Actually, we could. Yeah, I want to. I want to focus more on Venice. I think. Hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna send this army back. And we're gonna see if maybe we can, I don't know, do something with Samechi. I'm not seeing a... I was gonna, the reason I brought the armies home is because I was gonna attack Ferrara, and then he ceased to exist, so I'm gonna change my plan, unfortunately. Up on the Hungary train wreck. Well, Hungary's still defended by Austria at the moment. Naval force limit goes up by 20. We also pick up two more Diplo rep, which is really good. We got kicked out of Florence. Austria has 13 reasons to defend. Genoa's actually looking really good right now. It's just Genoa Cyprus. We still have the age bonus for 19 months. Hmm. I don't think there's any way I can get a claim over to... Wait. We could fabricate on Kaffa. And then use that to get to Genoa. I think in 19 months I could build up 20 spy network on Genoa. Yeah. Let's try it. 2.12 per month, so it's going to take 10 months. We have time. Not much, but we have time. Isn't it too far? No, we have claims for ordering claims for 19 months. That's what I was just mentioning. So we have a claim here already, which means I can claim Kaffa, which then allows me to take whatever I want, possibly. Just allows me to declare the war without taking a stab loss. Augsburg Gibbs monies. Mamluk's going after Faddle, like you do. Isn't Kaffa too far? Is that not... Am I saying it wrong? I'm confused. Uh, we do have some aggressive expansion. I'm going to take the improved relations. Too far, too core, or claim. Kaffa. Kaffa, Kaffa. This thing right here. It's owned by the, uh, I mean, assuming the Ottomans don't win and take it for themselves, currently it's owned by Genoa, so if we fabricate on it, we could declare for it, and then even if the Ottomans take the land over, we can still do stuff in a different direction. So I guess we're just parking this army in Ultu and waiting. These guys are being incredibly patient. It's just... <laughs> We will stand here forever, apparently. We almost have our claim. I'd like to re-up my claim on some province on Naples, just for the opportunity for that war deck, if it ever happens. I don't think it will, but it's pretty cheap to get one claim. Rocco does a thing. Cool, fine, good. I don't think this stack can afford to risk this fort. So we're just going to stand here. A little, you know, casual face off. Rigorous researchers. I love this event. Pop quiz number two of the day. Uh, how many of you in chat? I know someone will. This is going to be an easy one for you. How many of you in chat know exactly what the trigger conditions are for this event? And can you name them all? In a single sentence. Like a single... No, incorrect. It is not tied to innovative ideas at all. Incorrect. Almost perfect, Hergaus. Almost perfect, but technically not correct. Okay, so we're close enough. I'm going to just give you the answer. The, the correct answer is you have to be at positive three stab. Your corruption has to be less than one and cannot be increasing. Hergaus said that it needs to be decreasing. Technically, it can be neutral. If it's zero, it still can fire. Positive three stab, less than one corruption, and your corruption cannot be increasing. 
It is not tied to innovative ideas. And this is that there is no cap on this event. This can fire as... Oh, I, I've actually had this thing fire multiple times over the course of a single year. Uh, it's 120 Monarch points just because reasons. So there's a lot of value in having high level, high stability. People often say like, well, just declare no CB war. I would rather have <laughs> positive three stab and have like all the really good events happen in this game, you know? All the really good stuff out there. All right, let's just get a claim on Venice. Why not? We're gonna attack him event at some point, right? What am I waiting for right now? I'm waiting for. We got our claim on Genoa. That was what it was. All right, so we've got a claim on Genoa. Genoa is not defended by like anyone right now, and he's currently actively at war with the Ottomans. So Cyprus is not a factor because we have a navy and I don't think their, ma their army matters. Augsburg is actually free money, so great. And Genoa is currently being besieged by Milan, so either they have no army or that someone else will probably deal with it. We could declare a trade dispute and just make some money, but I kind of like the idea of... O Ottomans want... Ooh, they don't even want Kaffa. Yeah, okay. Trading post, entrepot. Okay. It's mine now. We just have to find a way to get through, um, to, to walk through, which we should be able to do. And if we can't, we can just occupy that after the Ottomans are done. We might end up with military access just because he's in other wars. So he'll ask for access for those wars, and because he has access, we get access. But sometimes you can get through land where you have uh, um, rivals and stuff. It doesn't actually matter. There's an Austrian army, too, in fact. And a Ottoman army. Oh yeah, Arumba lost the Hungry War bet? I did, didn't I? No one's attacked them. It's odd. What do I owe? A great synod. Gain Patriarch Authority or gain 50 admin points for 5 Patriarch Authority. In this case, I think we want to just build up the Patriarch Authority, right? I, I mean, I want to get caught up on tech, but... There is some value in stockpiling Patriarch Authority. Eventually, two missionary strength and all the other stuff. I lost the bet, show you the cat. <laughs> we just lost both of our generals. 30 tradition. All right, let's roll some generals. We have room for four. I'm gonna do it. Let's just roll three, uh, four generals right now. I'm gonna get. Let's do. Hair Gauss gets one because he almost had that question correct. Hair Gauss. I forget the name of the person that almost that, that answered the Republican tradition quiz question correctly. One three three one. It's pretty good. Well done, Hair Gauss. All right. Next in chat, Forlorn Ghost, I shall bleat? I mean, that's not quite right, but I'll say okay. Because you highlighted your message. Not great, but you got a siege pip. So, useful. Say mitez. Say, say my, say my tears, my tears. 414. Those are backwards. You should be a 1444. 4. 1444. Weird. Last one. I shall go with, uh, yeah, sure, I mean, uh, chat has definitely recognized that, um, uh, when I'm looking over now, my eyes are drawn to the, the chat, channel point highlights quite, quite a bit. Ooh, two siege pips, and four shock. That's great. That's really good. And three maneuver. It's pretty great. Yeah, we can use that. Excellent. Cool. Legend Jocker. Which Prime? Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, da, da, da. Just gotta keep an eye on our options. Austria has 16 reasons to defend right now. Um, Ooh, Muscovy would only defend this guy by 7. Muscovite ruler is cruel, and he's in debt. 
So the Muscovy guarantees might not be as important as I thought. Glory has a special highlight that is supposed to be redeemed to become a general. I'll need to, like, take some time and learn more about how that whole thing works. People have suggested that, but I, I looked at it and it was a little bit too complicated to just do, like, just like that. I tried to set it up. In fact, I have it set and then just disabled temporarily because I, uh, excellent. So, yep, military access to Genoa. We could send maybe a troop over here in case the Ottoman War ends. But so long as the Ottomans have it occupied, at least we're not losing ticking war score. Probably better to focus on his capital. Rumba shrugged at the Amerti War. More fun stuff happening. Yeah. I mean, we're still kind of paying attention to it. We're just waiting for this guy to leave. So the math on... All right. I almost I want to ask another quiz question, but I don't know exactly the correct answer. Let me think for a sec. It's not true. I think I do know the exact answer. So quiz question number three on the test. How much war enthusiasm will Sametsky lose if we occupy and besiege his capital? I will provide you with a few data points. His capital is 13 development, level 3 fort. The other fort is 10 development, level 2 fort. Two other provinces that are not besieged, 19 development. I can tell you for sure which answers it's not, but as far as the exact correct answer, I might need to, uh, I need to test. Okay, so come on, chat. It's not 69. <laughs> if you're, if you're actually trying and you think it's 69, then you're, you're comically coincidental. So, occupied and besieged provinces, um, can only go up to negative 40. The answer that it is definitely not is negative 40. We are not going to get negative 40 just for occupying and besieging this capital. So the actual math, the best I can explain it, is if you take the total development of his country We're fighting against Smatch. He has a total of 50 development. So 13 out of 50 is the relative share of the development of his country, right? Then you also have to look at the relative number of forts. So this is a level three fort, this is a level two fort. So it's like 60% of his forts. So of the development that has an actual fort, 60% of those forts are in this province. Whether it's his capital or not doesn't matter at all. It's actually tied to the fort level. So we're going to gain, my guess would be, 60% of the maximum that it could be, just based on that fort disparity. So 60% of 40 would be like, what, 24? I think we get like 24 occupied and besieged provinces from this. The actual development might not even matter. We have one right now because of the old two, which is development related, but... The answer was... 23! So I wasn't exactly correct, but it is based on forts a lot. And it is also based on development. I think what happens is there's two calculations. I think there's the fort calculation and the development calculation, and it adds them together, which is why sometimes the math is squirrely. And yes, I do see that they're moving. Um, so 23 from occupied and besieged provinces, which technically is 22, uh, is not enough. But if we come in from behind them, maybe we can actually end this war. They'll be gone on the... 15th of November. Ooh, time for a re-election. You're definitely re-electing. Uh, I want Diplo points, please. Nice! No, why aren't you both leaving? Both leave. Come on, go. Poland is no longer renting their army out. Ottomans have raised war taxes. We're gonna come in behind and stand on that province instead. 
Milan has failed to finish their siege. We're just going to come in and re-siege this. Actually, he's... You know what? He's probably going to annex that, isn't he? The Conquest of Genoa. He strongly desires this. I bet he can't handle the aggressive expansion for both. So this might become Genoa's capital. Remember, are you trying to make us all fail the test with these questions? I'm just... I don't know. It's just a random thought that I had. I thought I'd see what you guys... If you guys knew the answer or not. Okay, new state. We currently have 15 provinces. We could make this into a state. I'm not super keen on having to core all this because of the Wallachian penalty. But it is pretty valuable land to us right now. I think we'll take it. I refuse your peace deal. All right. Uh, did Ottoman siege Corsica? Corsica, Corsica. Corsica is occupied by Ottomans, yes. As is Chios, Kaffa. Cyprus is not being besieged, surprisingly, even though he's got naval superiority. Austria might actually be pushing him back briefly while he's distracted. That fort did fall. Um, we don't want to go here because there's a chance we could get black flagged. When Milan pieces out. If we don't have express permission. Ah, uh, we do. We have express permission to be there. So let's come to Genoa. Nice. Briquez 10 just gained movement speed bonus. So, we know that if we go here, we can get about 22 enthusiasm reduction on him. I think what we should do is scorch this province again and just try to do that trick. If we go there and back, it takes us, let's see, 24th to get there. Seven more days plus five. So it's 12 days for us to get there. Is that going to be fa It might be. Let's try it. I think we can beat them. So he'll be there on the 13th. We can be back again on the 5th. All we have to do is just go here. This is such a good cheese. Such a good cheese. AI is going to take a battle in the mountains behind a river against a larger or equally sized army. Because it's too dumb to realize that I can get there before him. We just have to wait till they're locked. So, our army will be there on the 12th. Which is enough to make sure that we are the defender. He does flank slightly, but it's a negative 3 penalty. There's, I don't think there's any way he wins that fight. Such good cheese. Ooh, he rolls an 8. He's trying to prove me wrong. Genoa seeds Genoa and Albenga to Milan. Alright, looks like his capital got moved to Corsica. The Ottomans... Oh, great. His capital's Corsica now. <laughs> and I have no transports. Uh, okay. Um... Florence and Milan are ruining everything, man. Okay, now that that battle's done, I think maybe we can knock Cement Chi out. Age just ended. Teach Augsburg. Oh, I completely forgot about Augsburg, yeah. Thank you. Alright, second age. Um, obviously, we go to Augsburg. Okay. I'm gonna take a short break here if you're watching this on YouTube. Otherwise, stick around on chat on Twitch, and I'll uh, I'll be back in just a moment. Thanks for watching. See you soon.